What's going on guys? Welcome back to 8 to Free. My name is Aaron. If you're new here, please subscribe, smash the like button. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for subscribing and liking my content. It means a lot. Comment down below if you've already subscribed. Before we get into it, this is not financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes only. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys are staking or invested in any cryptos or stocks as well. All right, now that you've subscribed, like this video and follow me on Twitter. Let's get into my screen and talk crypto. All right, guys, just going to be a quick video today. I uh, just want to talk about Daniele Sesta's um, Time Wonderland tweets that he updated and why I do love the future of this project long term. Um, I'm not going to go into every single tweet. If you want to, you can head over to his Twitter. I just want to go through the basics of what he is trying to accomplish and trying to communicate to all of us. Uh, one thing I did notice is that if you go to Wonderland, they actually have documentation now. So I do want to read through that um, just to kind of see if there were any updates. But this is good. Um, I do think Time Wonderland is going to be one of the DAO catalysts. I mean, if you look at some of Daniele's tweets, he has said that he believes DAOs are going to destroy VC-backed funds, um, which I really hope is accurate because that's just going to help those to explode. Basically what he's saying in the first tweet um, is that time is about to make changes in Wonderland to keep up with the expectations of our DAO members and all the incredible community that has created around our project. So if you are invested, that includes you and I. Um, I do think he is looking out for us. He wants this project to be sustainable. There, in a second tweet, he talks about there's been confusion about the time token price action with the narrative of it's going down, becoming more and more prevalent by uh, Fudsters. The Wonderland team has been working on education, but this is, sometimes is not enough to reach all of our community, considering how big it is. He then says uh, that he decided to take action and shift the focus from time to wrapped memo, which I also didn't know. I watched a couple videos on it, but I did not know that that meant wonderful memories. So he asks what the benefit of that is. Um, looks like they have started to move liquidity away from Trader Joe into Sushi Swap on Avalanche, and this new liquidity is a new pair of wrap memo to MIM. Um, all liquidity over time will be transformed in this new pair and the price of wrap memo will begin to be tracked as it's supposed to be. So what I am hearing from this is that the goal for Time Wonderland is to have wrapped memo versus just memo. Um, from my understanding, the more people that stake and do not wrap, then it actually hurts the price of memo. So that's that's my understanding. Not only does it benefit us for tax advantages to wrap memo, but it actually helps the longevity of the project. So it goes in to say that the market cap was adjusted. It said the market cap was adjusted, so it is showing the wrapped memo price now on the dashboard if you go there. Another advantage of this new liquidity is the fact that by adding so many time to staking, a lot of the inflation coming from the runaway distribution goes to the LP directly in Dell Holdings, resulting in less dilution for the holders and a slightly lower APY. So he's saying this money goes straight to Dow Holdings, thus helping the price of Rap Memo go up, but it will result in a slower, slightly lower APY. And they're talking about uh, cross-chain expansion and selling into Phantom and Arboretum. So overall, the, the, the idea of his sayings are to expand the ratio between market cap and treasury, creating more value for token holders. We reduce the traditional bonds on Avalanche that are slightly dilutive in favor of new bonds selling wrapped memo directly from treasury without minting new ones. So this is how the wrap memo price is going to go up um, when they're selling it without creating new ones. So essentially I'm hearing is we need more people to wrap their memo so that they're able to work on this and be able to actually um, implement the goals of Time Wonderland that Dan Daniele has. So, you know, the whole, he says the whole new mechanic should be able to increase the amount of funds into treasury to be reinv reinvested and reduce inflation across the board, giving a lot more stakers, a lot more to stakers and rap memo holders. So I, I hear this as he's wanting to 
reduce the amount of fluctuations in the rat memo price, um, provide more stability long term. And then he says more investable money into treasury equal more investments. So they're able to make more investments in order to give us more returns. So they have more back backing, more value, minus dilution. Simple, efficient, powerful, the time has come. So again, I do like it. Um, I like this project long term. It's starting to really pay off. I can see it if you're patient with it. Um, I'll just go to my time wonderland here. But you can see how much the reward's been growing. I know it's not much, but I have not wrapped my memo at this point, but I am considering doing it after reading some of his tweets. But I need to go read some of the papers as well. So I hope you got some value out of this. If you can, smash the like button, the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Please remember, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you. Peace.